This type of sculling is what we call catch skull. You can start by pushing off the wall and streamline. When your body reaches the surface, begin simulating the catch phase of your stroke with alternating arms. Your hands should remain in front of your shoulders throughout the entirety of this drill. In other words, when your hand is about in line with your eyes, slide your arm back up to neutral and begin pulling with the opposite arm. Keep your legs at the surface of the water by pressing your chest down and holding a very, very light kick. If your legs are still sinking, use a pull buoy. Feel free to lift your head periodically to watch the motion of your hands and self-correct if needed. Like many of these drills, it's easier with the snorkel. There are at least two reasons for catch sculling. The first is pretty straightforward. Simulate the catch phase of your stroke to get a feel for the water during the earliest and most important part of your pull. If you're able to master the catch, you're well on your way to developing an efficient freestyle. The second is to increase shoulder mobility. If done correctly, you'll feel a gentle stretch in your shoulders. Since our arms are in constant motion during this drill, it doubles as an upper body dynamic stretch, great for warming up before a main set. Things to focus on to make the most of catch skull are first keeping your fingertips down. You'll move water in the direction that your palms are facing, so get your fingertips pointed down as quickly as possible. Do this by always having your shoulders above your elbows and your elbows above your hands. A metaphor I like to use is reaching over the barrel drum. Next, progress to the highest elbow possible. Over time, as your mobility increases, you should find it easier to keep your shoulders and elbows at or near the surface of the water. Third, keep your motions efficient. In other words, make sure you're pulling straight back with your hands slightly wider than shoulder width. Any extra side-to-side -side movement is wasted energy. Lastly, relax. This drill, like all types of sculling, is about feel for the water. If your hands are tense, you can't feel the water. 